talk about families of notes or keys. Each key has a letter name and when you play a scale, a do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, in that key, you start on the name of the key. So if you have a C major scale, you start on a C. If you have a D, if you have one sharp it's in the key of G, the key is named G and the scale starts on G. So that's pretty simple. Now the thing to get interested in is how many sharps or flats does each family have? Does each key have? And there's a very simple way to understand it and I'm going to show you right now about the, the keys or the families. We call it a key signature. It's kind of like your last name. It's your signature. It's, it's, it's who you are and what you are, what you entail, what you involve. Okay? So C major is the all white keys on the piano. It's the one that has no sharps, no flats. We all know it's a nice basic, basic easy key to play in and thanks goodness our, our keyboard can can transpose up and down. If it doesn't fit our voice, we can still play in the C major finger patterns. Ha! But not always. We want to learn to play in these other keys also. So on this side are the keys that have sharps. And I have just done through four. There are seven. So there's three more here that we could add, but I'm not going to get too worried about that. We don't usually play in five, six, and seven sharps. Um, unless these guys slap a capo on and then we don't know where we are. <laughs> but if you have one sharp, it's F sharp and you are in the key of G major. If you have two sharps, it's F sharp and C sharp and you're in the key of D major. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp is the key of A major. The capital M always means major. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, the key of E major. Now, that looks like a lot to remember but let me show you a secret. You're gonna love this. All right, if you're on F sharp and you go up a half step, you get to G. If you think of it on the piano where, where an F sharp is, it's a black key. So you go to the next white key and it's G. Oh, the name of the key. Hmm, let's try it again. You have F sharp and C sharp. If you go up a half step from this sharp, the last sharp in the row, Half step up from C sharp is what? D. So you're in D major. It works all the way through. You can have seven of these. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. And it'll tell you just going up a half step from that note will be the name of your key. So let's try it again. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Find the D on your instrument. Make it sharp. And then go up a half step from that. And you will get E. E major. Now in flats, it's a little bit different, a little bit different, but it's still a nice, easy formula. The only thing the formula doesn't work for is the first one. If you have one flat, it's always going to be B flat. And I just tell you, you got to remember that. There's just no quick, easy formula for it. But after that, if you have B flat and E flat, it's the key of B flat. Oh. Here's the E flat. I went back one, and that's the name of the key. Let's look at this one. B flat, E flat, A flat. I go back one, and that's the name of the key. It's E flat major. B flat, E flat, A flat in the key signature tells you you're going to play a scale starting on E flat. A flat major, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Go back one. The name of the scale, or the name of the key, is this this flat before. So like I said, with B flat, there's nothing before it, so it doesn't work. But you just need to remember, one flat is F major. That's easy, right? Okay. So that's how we figure out what key something is in. Now be careful, because you know, you can look at the first part of your song, and it might start with a, uh, a G, G chord. Dum. And you think, oh, we must be in the key of G. Not necessarily. You'll need to look at what other chords are in that song to sort of confirm what key or what family of notes you're playing in, what sharps and what flats 
you have to play if you're on a piano or if you're playing lead guitar. If you're playing the melody on the guitar, then you need to know about sharps and flats. If you're playing the chords, it's not as important, but it sure helps in communicating with the other musicians to know what, you're, what key you're in. Okay, so don't just look at the first chord. However, many times you can look at the last chord, and that's generally the key's name. It's just most of the time, okay? So I think that's what we're going to make it short today. Let me see if there's anything else I should cover. Um, just that. Did I, and I showed you, did I show you the sharps and flats? Let me just do that quickly. Ah. I, you know, well, yeah, I put it right on this board. All right, so the hashtag is a sharp. It raises the note a half step, and that basically shortens the string. Whether you're on a guitar, a piano, if you play a wind instrument like a flute, you're instead of shortening the string, you're shortening the tube of air. You know how a flute's long? So as she puts fingers down on her flute, it shortens the tube of air that she's blowing into and therefore makes it higher. The shorter string, the shorter tube of air is a higher note. The flat lengthens the string. On a, on a guitar, if you're going to flat a note, you go back toward your pegs, toward where you tighten your strings. You go toward the end of the neck, not the body of the guitar. Okay, on the piano, you go down to the left if you're flatting a note. And it makes the string or the tube of air longer. Like a trombone player, he's got to have a really long arm to play the low notes Whoa, down there. But his high notes are up here where he shortens the tube of air that he's blowing through. That's why trumpets have all those curly circles full of tubes of air and the, the valves where they shorten them. If you look at a trumpet, it's got three valves. And depending on the combination of valves, you either lengthen or shorten the tube of air. So that's kind of how the physics of music. The one I didn't mention is the natural. It's a little box with a flag and a flag. And that means this is not sharp, this is not flat, it's just a regular whatever. Whatever the name of the note is, it's not F sharp, it's not F flat, it's, not, it's just F by itself. Okay? Very good. Thank you for today.